The Evolution of Understanding an Atom The atom is an unknown particle that we're finally starting to finally understand, yet we don't have an understanding of it. The atom has been changing, what we have it hasn't changed, we've been changing with our knowledge. We have been growing our understanding of it with the knowledge of the scientists, and the scientists have almost created it like a childlike. The atom isn't growing or changing, but our understanding of it is maturing. Democrates was in 400 BC was the one who found out the idea of the atmos, which is the smallest particle. Thus, it changed the name at atom. Our next guy, John Dalton, another fa father of the atom, built the idea of the theory of atomic theory. The first idea in the atomic theory is all matter is composed of atoms. The second one, atoms cannot be created or destroyed. Third, all atoms of the same element are identical. Chemical reactions occur when the atoms are rearranged. And fifth, and finally, compounds are formed by the combination of two or more new different kinds of atoms. J.J. Thompson was our next guy on the list. He developed the, the electron. He did this through the cathode ray tube. The cathode ray tube is when they took electricity and allowed it to go up and it bounced off and they noticed weird patterns. So in this they decided that they, they believed that there was a, a negative charge in it, thus creating the electron. Also, they used he created this chart and model of the plum pudding model, where there's this dense part in the middle of the nucleus, but then there are all these negative parts floating around. Ernest Rutherford developed the, the idea of the nucleus and the proton. Through, he did this through the gold foil experiment. They believed that when they allowed the radiation to go through, that it would go straight through to the back. But that's not what happened. It went and bounced all around throughout the entire thing. And so they thought, why could this be? So then they looked at it, and they saw that the particles must be changing because of the different types of positive or negative charges. Niles Bohr would create the Bohr model. The Bohr model is the modern view of the atom. It's what you see on a typical day, if you're looking for the atom. In the middle, we have the nucleus, the next one is your level one sublevel, then in two is your next sublevel, and then three, and it just keeps going on. So on these sublevels is where the electrons are located. They're only located on it, but not between. They can move from this one to this one, but only in certain circumstances. Erwin Schrodinger created the electron cloud model. This is the idea that there was all these electrons floating around the, this giant mark, large particle in the middle. And that was the nucleus. So it believed that they were just all over and you couldn't really tell where they were. James Chadwick developed the idea of the neutron. And the neutron, he did this by saying that it was located in the nucleus and it said it was a neutral particle. The proton is one of these three parts that create up the, the atom. And this is located in the nucleus. And that, so they had to come up with the weights of it. So what they did is they came up with a measurement AMU, which is atomic mass unit. Proton has one atomic mass unit, and it's a positive, it's a positive charge. The neutron, which is neutral, has one atomic mass unit as well. And the electron has zero atomic mass units, since it's so small. That's why it doesn't create up the weight. And then finally, when you get to the periodic table, you'll see that there's an atomic number, which is the two here, an atomic symbol, and an atomic mass. So here, helium would be our atomic symbol, HE. And the atomic mass is created by the nucleus and the, and the in the nucleus. And the protons and the neutrons add their weight together to create this. And the atomic number is the number of protons we have in this. So what's next? What is going to happen next through all this time? So we have the development of all these times coming together and all this development of ideas and knowledge. And where are we going to go to? Well, we have had the fathers of the science of the atom now. Who knows who will be the father of the science in the years to come. Thank you.